What up, movers? Where my movers at? Let me adjust this a little bit. Movers, what up? Am I live? Check, make sure I'm good money. Movers, where you at? What up, what up? It's first live of the new year. I'm always a little nervous on these Monday night motivations, but we here. Who we got? Yeah, let me see. Christian, what up? See everybody starting to jump in. And do me a favor, guys. I don't know your handles. So you got to put your name in the comment real quick. But I'm happy. It's a new year. It's a new day. It's another chance for us to get out there and get it. Joy, what up? I see you just jumped in. Kevin, what up? Coming in from VA. Virginia in the house. Who we got? Daryl, what up? I see you. To Rome, let's grow. Movers. We got all the movers in the building. Yo, my word to everything. I'm going to start wearing my reading glasses. It's so hard for me to see down here. But I'm going to keep trying. Daryl from Atlanta? That's what I'm talking about. I don't care where you from. If you a mover, you need to be here Monday night, 7 p.m. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. This is what we do. It's that Monday night motivation. I love to keep it short. I love to keep it sweet. Just something that's food for thought. Keep us inspired to get through this work week. Who we got? And I don't even know how to say that. Um, swag, swag, something, another. I always see you hit me. What up? Like you, you got to put your name in the in, in the um. You got to put your name down there. Ed Hennings, what up? Shouts to Milwaukee in the building. My brother Ed, what up? Let me see. And I'm sorry, y'all. Like I can't read everybody's comments. Jermaine Dupree, JD, what up? I see you in the building. Happy New Year, brother. I need you on our Wednesday night joints. It's a lot of inspiration, a lot of motivation. This is where the movers are at, y'all. This is what we do. We encourage each other. Monday nights, I come on. It's just real quick. It's just some food, just to, some like some fuel, just to get us through the work week. We know how it is. It's a new year, and and everybody's excited. It's a new day. It's a new chance for us to get out there and make it happen. So. Like, you know, I'm just excited everybody's in the building, y'all. This is what we do. 7 p.m. Monday, 7 p.m. Wednesdays, we open the floor up to everybody to live. So that's where you come. You ask your questions. That's where you come if you have a success story or if you're going through a time and you're kind of struggling and just need some help from other movers in the building. 7 p.m. Wednesday is, is the time to do that. Please go and take a look. We just put out a new video today. I love these young brothers. And again, it's movers supporting movers. My brothers, um, Jalen and Dave over at um, Black Wealth Renaissance, they killed it. We I did an interview with them and we just put it out. So please go support that interview. New interview just dropped today. Segments going up all week. Before I get started, I'll start in like one more minute, y'all. Joe Paul, what up, kid? Happy New Year to you. Shouts to everybody just checking in. I appreciate you. Please spread the word. Tell a friend to tell a friend, especially when it comes to this Monday and Wednesday night thing. What we're doing over here, we're just trying to encourage each other. So please tell a friend to tell a friend. Who is that? DJ Mark? Mark Robinson? I think I got that right. If I got that right, give me the thumbs up, please. I see my man. Who, who is that? Is that Smidge or Soul G? Soul G just jumped in. But, you know, I'll give it a, a, another 30 seconds and I'll get started. But I'm so happy to see everybody. Y'all know, like I know, Monday nights I'm always a little nervous. But I'm getting better at it. But this is how this is what it is. Like, like I'm on a new journey. Some of y'all are on a new journey. 
and it's gonna be nervous. We we gonna be a little tense sometimes, but this is like you guys you gotta put your nuts out there. You gotta like you, you gotta put it on the line, and this is what I do. So, you know, it's crazy because me, like y'all, first and foremost, I gotta say happy new year movers. Happy new year to all of us. We made it. It is 2021. We are here, we're breathing. 2020 was very difficult. As y'all know, I lost somebody that I loved at the tail end of 2020. Of 2020. 2020 did not let up. We made it here, so I salute y'all, and, and, and I love y'all. I'm telling y'all that off the bat. We here. But me, like y'all, you know, I'm watching 12 o'clock, watching that ball drop. And needless to say, this was a very different you know, New Year celebration than we're used to. I'm used to Times Square being flooded, millions of people being out there, but it wasn't like that this year. They made the best with what they had. But as that ball drop and they start to interview people, I'm seeing people, right? And these people are sitting there and they're so happy and they're talking about all these resolutions and they're so happy that, you know, 2020 is behind them. And I couldn't help but think to myself as I'm watching these people like, yo, what difference does it make if the only thing that changed was a date on the calendar? Like, 2020 is gone. Great. But that's the only thing that changed. Have you changed? Did you bring anything new to 2021 or are you the same old you just in a new year? And as I'm sitting and I'm listening to these people talk. I can't help but think to myself, you're coming in to a new year with the same old tired mindset. That same mindset that got you nowhere in 2020, you done brought it right with you to 2021. Some people are sitting out there and they're popping champagne and talking about I'm so happy to be in 2021. And they're coming in with that same old outdated skill set. People are living analog in a digital world. But they're popping bottles thinking because a date changed on a calendar, their life is going to change. I'm sitting there watching people with tears in their eyes, throwing stuff up like, yes, we made it. It's 2021. Yes, I'm happy we made it. But if you coming into 2021 with that same old whack work ethic, you can't do more than eight hours unless you paid for it. You can't conceive of doing one minute extra on the job unless you are compensated. Trust me when I tell you, ain't nothing changed but a date on the calendar. And if you are trying to be successful, if you want to be someplace different this year than you weren't last year, you have to understand that success it demands leadership and leadership demands sacrifice. What are you willing to sacrifice? I read something on the gram the other day and it was one of the illest like quotes I read. Somebody put up there, if 2020 didn't bring the hustle out of you, no, if 2020 didn't bring the hustle out of you, it was never in you. And that's as real as you can put it. If it, last year, as, as tumultuous as it was, did not bring that hustle out of you. It was never in you. And I can't help but tell you, it doesn't matter where you at in your journey. You can be top of the world or you can be just starting out. Success, it demands leadership and it demands sacrifice. I remember 03, LeBron James came into the league. Highly coveted, highly sought after, first round draft pick. And this man played in the league with all of the fanfare for nine straight years. No championship. No championship. And he had to make a decision as a leader, as somebody who is the leader of not just his team, but also his family, and say, it ain't happening here. I got to take my talents to South Beach. When he went down to South Beach, everybody doubted him. Everybody told him, yo, who does that? Real champions stay. Michael Jordan never switched teams. 
Kobe Bryant never switched teams. Magic Johnson never switched teams. But he had to step up and do what was best for him and his family. He took his talents down to, to South Beach and he won its championship. When he won it, everybody told him, yo, you were supposed to win. The team was stacked. Let's see if you can do it again. Comes out the next year, he repeats, does it again, and everybody's telling him, I would have did it too if I had Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade on my team. When you are on this journey, it is going to put you in no-win situations. But you have to step up and you have to be strong and you have to understand that as a leader, it is going to require me making some uncomfortable choices. It is going to require me to do things that people are not going to be able to agree with in real time. People are going to look at me because they can't see the forest through the trees and question my decisions. But you're still as a leader going to be have to steer that ship and move forward. Are you guys willing to step up and become leaders? Are you guys willing to step up and make the sacrifice? And I say this because I was talking to somebody the other day and they were telling me how they have put all of their plans and they put all of their dreams on hold because their parents are old school. Their parents, they don't recognize them unless they don't recognize, you know, what they were doing as a career, unless it's a doctor, it's a lawyer, it's an accountant. Or if you got a city job or state job, something that you know you can easily count on week over week. That's the only way that they were going to be supported. So they put their dreams and everything on hold for their parents. And I'm like, what the heck are you doing? They live their life. Go live yours. How you know? How do you even look yourself in the mirror knowing what it is that you want to do? Knowing what it is you want to do. But because you don't have your parents' approval, you're not going out there and doing it. Success, it demands leadership and it demands sacrifice, y'all. And sometimes you are going to have to hurt people who you love because they don't see it. Just because they don't see it doesn't mean it ain't the right move. Some of us are sitting in a position where we're laying next to somebody. And that person, they are our ride or die. They have proven themselves to be our ride or die. They was with you when you was in that one bedroom apartment. They was with you when you couldn't pay the bills and the lights went out. They was with you when there was no heat in the apartment and it was the coldest day in winter. But the minute that you said, I'm going to go out there and chase my dreams. The minute you said, I'm a better on me. I'm tired of living like this. They throwing up in your face. Somebody got to pay these bills. They throwing up in your face. What are you doing? You got a family. You have to stand strong. Sometimes the adversity, it ain't going to come from the outside. It ain't going to come from people who don't like you. It ain't going to come from people you never met. It's going to come from people who love you. People who on normal days will support you. But because they don't understand how you're built, they'll tear you down because of it. Some of us, I'm telling you, because I have been there working hard, doing everything I can do to put food on the table. And the minute you start to blow, you got your own kid looking you in the face talking about you was an absentee parent. You wasn't around. It's like, yo, you don't know what it is not to miss a meal. You've never missed a meal a day in your life because of the sacrifices I made. But this is how it's going to come, y'all. It ain't going to be easy. Some of y'all are thinking that this thing, hey, I got this New Year's resolution and everything magically is going to be better this year. No, it ain't. You got to strap up. You got to put on that battle armor and you got to adopt a warrior mentality. You have got to be prepared every day, not just some days, but every day. Go out there and hit that battlefield because you're going to war. And it ain't always going to be people who don't like you that you're going to be at war with. It's going to be people who love you. Some of y'all are sitting around and you're waiting for your friend's approval. You're waiting for your friend's validation. You're waiting. You know, I, I, I know what I want to do, but I don't get the support of my friends. They don't see my dream. Are you freaking kidding me? They don't see your dream. 
God gave it to you. They ain't supposed to see it. That's your dream. He gave them something different. You embrace what God gave you. He wouldn't even give you this dream. If you was not prepared, if you did not have the skill set, if you did not have all that it takes to fulfill this dream, go after it. Stop worrying about them. Stop worrying about people who can't see what you're doing right now. Because trust me, when you get to the top, they all going to be there right with you. And then still some of them people are going to be tearing you down. My man LeBron James went back to Cleveland. Went back. After winning two championships in Miami. He could have stayed there. But went back to Cleveland. And won them a championship. And when he decided to leave. They went out into the streets. And they burned his jersey. They spit on his pictures. That whole city was up in flames, called him a traitor, called him all kinds of names. Because, again, he made a decision that maybe they didn't understand. Look, I bought y'all a championship back, but my life is not here in Ohio. I have bigger dreams. I'm now at the end of my career. I need to be out in L.A. And they tore him down. The pundits and the analysts and all of the people who report on sports was talking about you going out to L.A., that's Kobe's house. You ain't going to be able to do it there. You supposed to be able to stay in Cleveland and keep your legacy going there. But he's doing what's best for him and his family. And when he went out there, he bought them a championship and not only bought them a championship, but was able to integrate himself into Hollywood. And people still don't believe. People still don't see his vision. And I'm telling y'all that because it doesn't matter what level you're on. It don't matter what it is that you do. When you reach the highest of heights, there's always going to be them haters. It's always going to be people who want nothing more but to diminish your accomplishments. And trust me, if it ain't people on the outside, a lot of times it's going to be people on the inside. And I want y'all to come into this 2021 with that mindset. It doesn't matter. This is your life. It's nobody else's life. This is your dream. It's nobody else's dream. You were given it. And you have the capacity to fulfill it. Thank God he even blessed you with this. And because he blessed you with this dream, it is your obligation to go out there and make it happen. So to everybody who is on this live, this is the beginnings of our 2021. And I want y'all to, to, I'm celebrating with y'all, but don't have delusional thoughts. It don't just happen because you want it to happen. It don't just happen because, oh, I'm going to speak it into existence. You got to be ready to put in the work. Success, it requires leadership, and leadership demands sacrifice. This thing costs, and you got to ask yourself, am I willing to pay the price? I know I am. I'm on this live every Monday and every Wednesday, and I'm going through the school of hard knocks, and y'all are sitting here witnessing me do great lives and me do terrible lives. But when it's all said and done, I'm chasing these dreams, falling on my face, getting back up. And I want y'all to do the same. This is our year, y'all. We are movers. We are movers. Peace and love, y'all. I like to keep Monday short and sweet. 10 minutes here, you know, 10, 15 minutes, nothing more than that. Just something to, to just spark that inspiration within y'all. And, um, you know, I catch y'all on Wednesdays. If y'all have any questions whatsoever, I don't care where you're at in your journey. If you're doing something and you have a business question, please bring it to our live on Wednesday night. Please support our new video with um, the, the founders of the Black Wealth Renaissance, Jalen and David. You know, those guys killed it. They dropped so many gems this week. And, you know, I'm so proud of them because they're young brothers and they're showing us. It, you are never too young or too old to be a power move maker. Y'all are power move makers. And, and you know, I salute y'all. And again, happy New Year's movers. I'll see y'all on Wednesday night. One.